It's the age-old question, paper or plastic? Now, cash is cool, you hand it over and they give you stuff. But if you're smart with your credit cards, they'll give you all the same stuff plus a little love. Analyst Jill Gonzalez ran down the results of WalletHub's 2016 credit card rewards report. Not all credit cards are created equally, especially when it comes to rewards. If you pick the wrong card, it could cost you more than $800. That's $800 in rewards over the first two years. So here's how to pick the right card. For starters, match your spending. If you have a certain category that you know you'll be spending more in, then that's what you really want to focus your search in on. So here you're not shopping the cards, you're shopping the categories. Travel actually gets you the most bang for your buck. The worst category? If you're kind of exchanging points for merchandise, usually you're actually not getting as much as you could be getting. Next, avoid hassles. Cards often have a calendar of rotating rewards. If you're forgetful, you might miss out. Uh-uh, your card should make it easy. The best? Discover lets you set alerts and reminds you when to opt in for those rotating categories, usually at the beginning of each quarter. Our final tip, don't fear the fees. A lot of times, cards with annual fees have better initial bonuses, higher earning rates, and just better ongoing rewards. Two of the best are City Thank You Premier and the Chase Sapphire Preferred cards. Both have nominal $95 annual fees. They're actually both waived the first year as well. The bottom line? You're spending it anyway, and why not get rewarded for it? You work hard earning your money. Making sure it's working hard for you when you spend it is what's the deal. All right.